Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. China is reshaping the global semiconductor supply chain through new chip origin rules, which is a strategic countermeasure to the United States' long-term weaponization of the supply chain. The United States once took advantage of its monopoly advantage in the global semiconductor industry chain to put pressure on China through export controls, entity lists, and tariff barriers. Now China has also begun to learn this strategy, but in a more precise way, starting with the origin identification of chips and redefining the rules of the game. This game about the semiconductor industry chain is changing the global technology landscape and may become a new template for future industrial competition. In April 2025, the China Semiconductor Industry Association issued the Emergency Notice on the Rules for the Identification of the Origin of Semiconductor Products, which clearly stipulated that the origin of chips will be determined based on the wafer manufacturing location as the only standard, completely changing the past practice of based on the design location or packaging and testing location. This rule immediately caused a shock in the global semiconductor industry. The U.S. customs system collapsed for a time due to the need to deal with the new regulations, and related stocks on Wall Street also fluctuated violently. Intel's market value evaporated by $12 billion due to its large number of manufacturing bases in the United States, while AMD, which outsourced most of its manufacturing to TSMC, grew by 5%. This market reaction clearly reflects investors' expectations of the impact of the new regulations. Tracing back the history of the weaponization of the U.S. supply chain, we can see a clear trajectory. Since 2018, the U.S. government has gradually strengthened restrictions on high-tech exports to China, first implementing a technology blockade against specific companies such as Huawei, and then expanding to the entire semiconductor industry chain restricting the export of key equipment and technologies, such as advanced process chips and lithography machines to China. The United States also uses long-arm jurisdiction to prevent third-country companies from providing products using U.S. technology to China. These measures essentially use the supply chain as a geopolitical tool to try to hinder China's industrial development through technological containment. Today, China has begun to emulate this strategy, but in a more subtle way. According to the latest provisions of the Regulations on the Origin of Imported and Exported Goods, the origin of chips is determined only by the location of wafer manufacturing chips taped out in the United States, are identified as U.S. products and are subject to a high tariff of 125%, while those taped out in Taiwan are regarded as Taiwan, China products, and can enjoy more favorable tariff treatment. This regulation directly hits the pain point of the U.S. semiconductor industry. Although the United States designs 72% of the world's chips, less than 18% are actually manufactured in the United States. Most U.S. chip companies such as AMD and Qualcomm outsource their production to Asian foundries such as TSMC. China's rule change is a precise countermeasure against the weaponization of the U.S. supply chain. It forces U.S. companies to face a difficult choice. Either move their production lines out of the United States, or bear the cost pressure brought by high tariffs. The ultimate logic of this wafer location rule is that it not only disrupts the global supply chain layout of U.S. chip companies in the short term, but may also prompt more companies to move their production bases to Asia in the long term thereby weakening the U.S.'s control over the global semiconductor industry chain. For domestic Chinese companies, the new rules provide a new development path. Startups in Beijing's Zongwenkan have begun to adopt a new operating model. Design drawings are sent to TSMC for wafer production, then returned to the mainland for packaging and testing, and finally exported with the label of Made in China. According to data from the General Administration of Customs, this model can reduce comprehensive costs by 40% while effectively avoiding international trade barriers. More noteworthy is that China's local chip technology is also rapidly improving. For example, 
The yield rate of Wuhan Yangtze Memory's 232 layer NAND flash memory has reached 95%, even exceeding the level of Micron's US factory. China's mature process capacity of 28 nanometers and above has accounted for 35% of the world and is expected to reach 39% by 2027. These data show that China's chip industry is forming its own ecosystem and technical confidence, providing a solid foundation for the implementation of the origin strategy. From the perspective of policymakers, the new rules are not only a countermeasure to the US technology blockade, but also a positive attempt to reshape the global supply chain by taking advantage of China's market size. This rule change has triggered an earthquake effect in the global industrial chain. Intel began to ship production equipment from Oregon to Penang, Malaysia to reduce labor costs by 60%. Chinese customers ordered three times more ASML lithography machines than the United States. China's chip imports from the United States fell by 22% in the first quarter, while the domestic procurement rate rose to 58%. The Korea Semiconductor Association also urgently revised the industry guidelines, requiring Samsung and SK Hynix to give priority to production in Chinese factories. These changes show that China's new rules are redefining the competitive landscape of the global semiconductor industry. From the perspective of strategic game, China's countermeasures reveal an important fact. In the highly globalized semiconductor industry, any attempt to gain unilateral advantages through weaponization of the supply chain may eventually be resolved by opponents with similar means. Experts from the China Ministry of Commerce Research Institute pointed out that the purpose of the new rules is not to decouple from anyone, but to tell the world that the supply chain can be a link for mutually beneficial cooperation, or it can be transformed into a moat to protect its own development. This chip origin rules game which began in April 2025, will be recorded in the textbooks of business and technological competition. It tells China that in the era of globalization, the real competitive advantage lies not in using tough measures to contain opponents, but in building a more resilient and inclusive industrial ecology. By changing the rules rather than confronting head-on, China has successfully challenged the US supply chain weaponization strategy unexpectedly. Today, when people see the Intel cargo ship stranded in the port of New York and compare it with the Chinese chip containers that are operating efficiently in the port of Qingdao, they will think of a sentence circulating on the internet. In the past, people always said that China was catching up, but now they find that China is defining the track. Not all counterattacks need to be head-on. Sometimes, changing the rules of the game may be a smarter choice. This battle over the new chip origin rules proves that China has gradually grown from a follower to a rule maker and has begun to reshape the global technology landscape in its own way.